This is the far side of fitness. And today we're going to talk about something like we're going to do in all these episodes, something you may have heard of that you want to discuss more or something you've never heard of that you just want to hear about. Today, I think I'm going to take the approach of let's talk about something that you may have heard of, but let's take a different angle that should be discussed more. So let's talk about fall prevention. So we know when we talk to senior citizen populations that prevention of falling is really important because we know a lot of the statistics that as a person ages, their incidence of falling increases and therefore their incidence of going to the hospital with hip fractures and falling skyrockets and often the person doesn't get out of the hospital. I think any of you who are fitness professionals, you probably know this information and you digested it. But what if we took a take on the far side of fitness and talked about fall prevention for younger people? I actually have never heard anyone talk to you know, people, Gen Z, millennials, about fall prevention. So much of our exercise, our exercise culture is centered around aesthetics or more, more of the hardcore research related to VO2 max or the acute and chronic adaptations of strength and conditioning. But we never talk to young people about what they'll be like. It's a lot like retirement. Most young people don't want to talk about retirement and invest poorly in it because they don't see that person in the future as them. That person doesn't exist to someone in their 20s. And for good reason. No one wants to think about themselves being older. The fear of getting older is real for so many people. And being more enlightened about aging often happens as we age and we gain wisdom in our time. But what if we flipped it around? and our training focused on fall prevention for younger people. We need to get young people on the ground, feeling the pressure on their shoulders, on their back, on their spine, on their legs, getting up, getting down. While it doesn't feel like it's something that would be glamorous or exciting for people who are younger, the thing is, will you be ready for the fall? Right now you're thinking if you're a younger person, I'm not going to fall. I'm in good condition. I'm younger. And I feel like that's not going to be me. But you know, the reality is it is going to be you. You're going to age. You're going to get older. And, you know, that's always not guaranteed, actually, too. Other things could happen in the spectrum of possibilities. You may not make it to old age. But let's say you do. You're going to experience what that's like. And Hopefully that your training and your exercise mimics what it be, would be like to fall. And what happens is often for us is as we get older, let's talk about from when you're born all the way through adolescence. When you're born, you spend a lot of time on the ground, right? Your body gets used to that feeling of rolling over, crawling, being very low to the ground. As we age, as we get taller, as we start to become more active, the ground becomes a foreign entity to us. And certainly once you get into much older age, you rarely see the ground again. And that's the problem. We only focus on fall prevention for people when they're elderly, when the ship has been passing through waters for a very long time. And instead, I surmise, and I'm a big proponent of teaching people how to brace themselves for falls, how to be close to the ground, and how to actually embrace being on the ground when they're younger. Some of this may happen when people are younger, in their 20s, 30s, if they're into martial arts and things of that nature that push them to be on the ground. And part of the involvement is that. But for our general population, that is not happening. In fact, we're getting further and further and further away from the ground. And then what happens is we start to fear the ground. This real palpable fear of going back down to where we started. Because reality, what do you think about when you think about going back to the ground? It gets deeper, right? And when you die, people bury you back into the ground or whatever it may be. If you're cremated, maybe your ashes are spread in the ocean, you're going back to the earth one way or another. 
So that ground, there's some fear in being on the ground and that resting place. But the reality is, reframe it, look at it differently. What would your quality of life be like if you didn't have to fear the ground anymore? And you thought about that when you were 25 instead of when you were 65. And right now our culture, especially for younger people, and I'm happy that more and more people are lifting weights and doing resistance training. But we're not, get, we're not moving a lot. We're actually spending so much time in one place, stationary. We're certainly not expanding our lungs on a regular basis uh, and increasing our VO2 max. Most of gym going. And again, I'm happy that people are lifting weights. There's a lot of weightlifting, which is great. But like anything, we can't be one-sided. And even if you're doing cardio, resistance training, boy, you need to spend time on the ground. We're not talking to young people enough about being on the ground. Spend some time on the ground because one day you might have a very adversarial relationship with the ground. Do you really want that? If you start falling one day, could you catch yourself like appropriately? Could you catch yourself now if you're younger? These things happen and you don't think about it. But being close to the ground is actually one of the safest places you can be. There's a lot of stability in the ground. So this topic on the far side of fitness, I really wanted to focus on being on the ground. Now in this show, we will have guests and we'll be talking about different topics like this. But the goal is to talk about topics we just don't talk about that much. Topics that are on the far side of the spectrum of, of fitness. We talk about fall prevention for elderly people. We give people all the statistics of what happens with hip fractures. The percentage goes up every decade you're alive when you become elderly of going to the hospital and passing away. But we don't make it that serious for young people. And we really need to. Because when you're young, is the time to really start building a foundation. And so we think about when we're young, being aesthetically pleasing and getting big and getting strong. But what if the emphasis of your training program was to help buffer you when you fell to the ground? We all rise when we're younger and we fall sometimes when we get older. Question is, could you get back up? It's Dr. Darian Parker with The Far Side of Fitness. I look forward to chatting with you next time.